Welcome to World 4 of my Super Bomberman R playthrough for the Nintendo Switch. We're about to go to Planet La La Land, so grab a coat or a blanket, because things are about to get chilly. Planet La La Land, the second planet of the starry sky solar system. Once an arctic wasteland, terraforming transformed it into an entertainment planet, home to a giant theme park. <laughs> the climate control machine must have cut out, reverting the temperature back to how it was before the terraforming. Snow! <laughs> the machine should be somewhere inside this park. Theme parks? <laughs> theme parks are for women and children, not for cool, sophisticated bombermen like me. You're just saying that to slack off again. And what you complaining about? It's definitely cool here. The Planet La La Land theme park. Big Sis used to love this place. Oh, our big sister who had an accident? Back before we were made? That's right. Originally, there were supposed to be nine of us. Come on, Pink! Oh, hold on. Coming! Oh, no. This is the stereotypical ice world in all video games. This is the Arctic world. I don't know if I'm ready for it. If you don't know, I love playing games and I want to share my love of games with you, so I am playing my vast library of games, and today it's Super Bomberman R. We're on World 4. If you haven't seen the other three worlds, the playlist will be in the description below. This is level 1 of World 4, Planet La La Land, and the first thing I noticed First thing I noticed is slippery ice blocks. Now these slippery ice blocks are tiles that once you walk on them, you'll continue in that same direction. This is something that if if you're familiar with ice levels in, in other games, if you've ever played a Pokemon game, I mean, have you played a Pokemon game? Because if you have, you'll know that these kind of tiles, these ice blocks, are in all of those games. And not only in Pokemon, but in tons of other video games that have ice worlds, and they are my kryptonite. They destroy me, but they're a lot of fun to try to figure out because, like I said, you have to enter from one direction and you're gonna continue all the way until the sliding ice stops. Luckily, in Super Bomberman R, you're seeing in this level one and going forward, the ice tiles, uh, they're different colors. So at least I know what I'm getting into when I'm, when I'm walking around the level. But that's the very first thing I noticed entering this new world, Planet, Planet La La Land, is these ice tiles. Let's just say I, it gets a lot more difficult for me as this world progresses. But, uh, you know, as always, I try my, my best. I try to learn uh, the world's concepts and navigate the level and, and do what's asking me, destroy enemies or even survive. That's, that's something new that they added in stage two is surviving without just surviving, that's it. You don't really have anything to do. There's no switches to press, there's no enemies to kill. Just can you survive for X amount of minutes? And that is a little bit of an interest, interesting challenge, but it's just more going around and, and running and just trying to survive without killing yourself and without getting killed by enemies. And then once the time limit's up, Head to the goal as fast as you can, slipping and sliding <laughs> on the different uh, ice blocks. Uh, those levels are kind of fun. Everything's fun. But boy, is everything really challenging here in La La Land.
again, pro tip, really focus on the ice blocks. Like, be aware that they're there. And I knew that this was the ice world, that I knew what I was getting into. I can see the ice tiles, but for some reason, when I'm really into trying to kill these enemies like I am in uh, Sage 4-4, I started to forget just how slippery these ice tiles were. I mean, those bottom, right, and left corners of the stage, there's a couple of tiles. I'm constantly running over them back and forth, but sometimes, just sometimes, I keep on going, and I realize the hard way that there was not a wall or a boundary to this level. There's just a blackness, and now it's obvious that I can see it. There's just a black square of, of an abyss, a dark abyss surrounding the stage, and I just kept on falling off over and over again. So be careful when you're hanging out in La La Land, because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of hazards. So keep that in mind. survive for two minutes. Two minutes, that's a lot of time. But what I learned is to destroy certain things to make it a lot easier. I tackle this by placing bombs and destroying those precious bushes, those trees, like the gardens, like who's making these, who's who's planting those in the Bomberman world? It's like they're just getting in my way and I'm sorry, I have to cut them down. I know they look awesome, they're green, but I have to destroy the grass in order to have better pathways so I can survive. Also, I should never stand on the generators, because the enemies keep on coming out of that. I don't know where they're coming from, but they're coming non-stop. And who invited this teleporting enemy here? I have no idea, never seen him in my life, but apparently in World 4 in Planet La La Land, where it's cold as can be, there's teleporting enemies, don't get me started with the slimes. Slime is pretty cool though, once I have to think about it. Here are the blue blob monsters I was just talking about. Stage 4-6 has two of them. They are by far my favorite enemies in Super Barman R. Well, so far, I mean, there might be some awesome floating dragons that come out of nowhere but for right now these blue blobs are pretty neat they're interesting they're unique to the other enemies drop a bomb you explode them you make sure you don't kill yourself but as long as the big blob gets hit it will separate and become two smaller blobs which are two enemies more to kill so i find that mechanic very interesting it's something different i like how these worlds in this game are constantly changing up the enemies uh, and the interactions and in turn that's a challenge for me that I and I enjoy challenges. I like trying to figure out how am I to best tackle this situation and usually usually it means placing a bomb and killing myself <laughs> or if I actually have items and power-ups I really enjoy tossing bombs and pushing bombs like those really really help. You know how I mentioned earlier that this world is a stereotypical ice world? I've seen this in many video games before, how I mentioned Pokemon, but this stage, stage 4-7, 
is the blueprint of this type of stage. If you play video games enough, you'll know this stage. This is the one where the entire floor is ice panels. Yes, the entire floor is ice panels, which means the moment you step foot on one of those tiles, you will slide in the singular direction you're facing until you hit an obstacle, a wall, an ice block or an enemy and then you die and you have to return to the beginning where you started. It is trouble, but luckily, luckily, this is not that hard, it's not that difficult. This stage uh, is great, but it's a lot of slipping and sliding. My one takeaway from stage 4-8 isn't, you know, how to survive for two minutes, you know, don't kill yourself, destroy all the bushes. Yeah, I know all those things. My one takeaway is that I want a keychain of one of those adorable little robot guys. Just look at them, look how they run, look how they walk. Their eyes are really cool and expressive, and they have really cool little ear things. I don't really know what they are, but, uh, you know, robots probably need that to communicate. Antennas? No one knows. But yeah, I would really enjoy having a keychain in one of those, or some little figurine, or heck, even a, a sticker will do. I mean, yeah, Bomberman's great. I love Bomberman's design. Bomberman and I, yeah, we go way back to the Super Nintendo days. But there's something cool about these little dudes that makes me want to carry them around on a keychain. It's time, fighting Karaoke Bomber. Now, I usually find these first forms to be a little bit luck-based. Yes, each one of these bosses so far has had a different trait, something that makes them unique. But I just do the same thing. I just place bombs down. I throw bombs down. I lay bombs down, and I hope and I wish that they get hit by it. And that's exactly what happened here. Now, the second form, Karaoke Bomber's second form, this huge, giant, flying, crystal, jewel kind of thing, it is one of the most difficult battles. In the middle of it, I kid you not, in the middle of this, I had to go online to figure out how to defeat this monstrosity of La La Land. I, I was confused. I kind of, you know, figured that I needed to bomb it some way, I had to wait. But it's, it's a lot of waiting, and it's made a little bit more irritating by the sliding on the ground. But after I had the knowledge, after I have the skills, after I took a breather, I, I took a sip of water, I did my stretches, I came back, and I tackled this boss. All in one sitting. Yes, 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 I am very brave to fight Karaoke Bomber for, I don't know, tens and tens of minutes. Sitting there, Kirby, my Kirby amiibo, watching me, but somehow I did it. And if you've ever played this, you know how difficult this boss fight is, and some of it's just kind of luck, just kind of have to wait. But as all boss fights, I enjoyed it. It's fun. I 
We won. That was the most horrific singing I've ever heard. My head's still ringing. Huh? Hmm. I'm impressed, Bomber Man. But I shall have my revenge. Wait a minute. Are you? <laughs> Big Bro? What's wrong? She dropped this. This is... I gave this to my big sis, Pretty. Why did she have it? I'm not sure, but maybe... You don't mean... You think she's Pretty, our scrapped sister? What? But she can't be! <sighs> wow, Karaoke Bomber may be the Bomberman's scrap sister? I'm really enjoying the story in this game, and I cannot wait to see where it goes. So thank you for watching, but this is going to be the end of this video. But don't worry, it's to be continued. So I'll see you in the next one when we continue our Super Barman R playthrough.